Okay, this one is about cleaning the condensate drain on the 90% furnace. Let's look at the P-trap in this thing. Okay, that white thing there is the P-trap. There's two hoses come off of this. One of them goes up and goes to the bottom of the uh, inducer right there. And the other one goes over here to the heat exchanger. Okay, those are the two drains that drain into that P-trap. Now, cleaning the P-trap is pretty simple, but there's a couple of precautions. We're going to use a vac, like that thing there. And before we take and hook this vac up, there's one thing we need to do. I want you to note those pressure switches. Those pressure switches cannot be subjected to a high negative pressure. And the vac will do that. So what we have to do is we have to disconnect where the pressure switch tubing goes into the heat exchanger. Now, furnaces are all different on this. But you'll have to look at the pressure switches and look for tubing that's going to them. Now this one, you can see the black tube there, that goes up to the combustion chamber. That's okay, you can leave that on. But there's two taps on the back of this, and I can't really show it to you, it's really hard to see. If you look here, you'll see that tubing right here. Now what you need to do is you need to take and pull it off of, actually come off easier than it's supposed to, uh, pull that off of the heat exchanger. That'll isolate them from anything, any vacuum you get in the, in the vacuum cleaner. Now here's the condensate tube coming out of the furnace. Now this could be going into a uh, condensate pump or it, should, it could just be going to a floor drain, uh, depending on the application. Of course mine's going to be nice and simple, yours probably won't be quite so simple. If I am going to clean this, I'm just going to pull a vacuum on this line. Now, not a deep vacuum, because it doesn't take very much. All you're trying to do is go to this trap in there and pull out anything that's in there. Now, there could be all sorts of things in there. Algae globs and dirt and all sorts of stuff. But it will come out pretty much with a vacuum. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and clear this one. Here you can see I've taken that hose off and I put it loosely into the vacuum. Now you don't need to put tape around it or your hand or anything like that. All you need to do is turn on the vac. Okay, so put your hose into the vac just like that. And if you look close, you can see the uh, water coming through. You don't need to make it tight. All you need to do is just stick the hose into the vacuum hose. Now we have a situation where the P-trap is empty. Now the P-trap does need to be filled. Some furnaces will not start if that P-trap's empty. It seems like most of them do, but some won't. So what you're going to do, it's a real simple way of doing this. You can try putting water into them, but it's, you got to take hoses off and it's kind of hard to do. But I'll show you an easy way to do that. Now, all you've got to do here is when you go to start the furnace, I would plug this off and wait for the furnace to start. Let it run about two or three minutes after the burners come on. If it's run two or three minutes, there's probably enough water in the P-trap to, uh, to make it work normally. You can give it a couple more minutes if you want to, can't hurt, but just plug this off because sometimes if you don't do that, it'll suck enough air back in there that it won't work. It won't start off. But you just put your finger over the end of that thing or put a piece of tape over it or something like that and run it for a couple, three minutes and usually that takes care of it. Okay, that's pretty much it for uh, cleaning the condensate on the 90% furnace.